Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode, we finally started another little war. I say finally because it's been a couple uh, episodes since I've actually done something militarily. I started a little war with these guys right down here. And it's a very small state I'm fighting because the Bajanid Empire dissolved and dis disintegrated. There's nothing left. There's the Bajanid Revolt right here, and I believe they used to be held right here. But I don't think he has any holdings left. I mean, the, technically, this is their empire, but, you know, this highlighted area. But look how fractured, look, look how fractured it is. There are probably literally dozens of different states. Maybe not dozens, maybe two dozen, something like that. I don't know, I'm not going to count. But anyway, it's going to take them forever to put this back together. And in the meantime, I'm going to take full advantage of it. And while I'm waiting for the... Uh, the king and the queen to die so I can properly become the Byzantine em Emperor I'm going to try to take as much of this land required to reform the Roman Empire as I can Oh, and they actually got a significant little force here significant compared to even one of my armies But this war is just about over it's 88% done probably one more siege should do the trick and They're marching away from me so so we're going to continue these wars in this episode, hopefully take a little bit more land. I know I have to take Alexandria, and I'm pretty sure it's Jerusalem and Tunis are the... Not Tunis, Tunis is over here. Uh, Jerusalem and Antioch, I believe that's what I'm waiting on now. And 99%, he's not going to surrender at 99%. And I do hope that you guys are all uh, enjoying the, the audio these days, because... I finally, finally think I'm at the point where I don't need to do any more tweaking, any more major tweak. I mean, maybe minor, just a little, little twitch of a knob here, a little twitch of a, a, a slider there, but we're, it's sounding good, I think. We surrender, Byzantine Empire gains all this stuff. All right, and we're auto-saving at the moment, so just waiting on that. There we go, accept. There we go, nice. So let's put our guys back together in Alexandria. Actually, everybody except that one can just get disbanded, actually. These guys can all just... Because I don't want to disband them outside of my territory and have a problem there, because they'll just all die has offered to go through your newly acquired domain titles and distribute them to existing or new vessels. Oh, I actually kind of like it when this pops up. I don't know why. Yes, I would appreciate some help. And he'll take care of all that. 18. 17. He's giving away the titles. 16. 15. <laughs> I think that's my uh, retinue. As soon as these guys get out of enemy territory, or at least not my territory, not friendly territory. Bam. And I just realized this morning that it's, I, I realized that this morning because I, um, yesterday I went and paid my rent and realized that the entire month of December had passed without me doing a channel update. And I do apologize for that, but for the first half of the month there wasn't really anything to say, and the back half of the month it was so goddamn crazy because of the holidays. I just didn't have time to do one. Just too difficult to have tried to, uh, to have done that. Now, what should I try next? Let's take a look at du jour duchies. Ooh, it's kind of ugly the way it is right now. I should probably just try to grab as much of this coast as I can. Right, let's take a look at a couple things. I just want to make sure... All right, he's firmly in control of Italy, firmly in control, eh, firm-ishly control of Sicily, and Byzantine Empire is, nothing's going to change there, because she can't have a son older than him. And what's awesome is, even if something did happen to him, I got a backup. Apparently, 
My grandson. Is his father? Yeah. I didn't even realize he had a kid. I must have just clicked through that. Because I'm pretty sure it would have given me a notification for that. Alrighty, so... We need a new one of these guys. Uh, title can be created. Duchy of Alexandria. Yes, we are going to do that. Alrighty, and now we're going to give... Now, I own... I own all of this. I kind of assumed they would have given that stuff away. So I thought... How is it still 7 of 7? What are my personal holdings? Uh, Kingdom of Italy, Kingdom of Sicily, Duchy of Alexandria, which I was going to give away, Latium Spoleto, County of Spoleto. Uh, all these, a lot of these names have changed. Um, was my... Interesting. Got me a little, slightly, just a little bit confused. Because I thought I had tons of holdings as it was. I have one. I have two. I have three. I have four and five. Oh wait, no. I don't have Tusculum anymore. Who... Did I give Tusculum away? I do not remember doing that. That's weird. So that that guy's got both of those. When did that happen? I guess that's why I was getting a little confused there. I do not remember that happening. Huh. Um, okay. Who is this guy? How did he get that fucking shit? I don't like him. I don't. He has the stuff I want. Alright, maybe I did that. And I just don't remember, but I do not fucking remember doing that. Because I, I never would have given away the other barony in Rome because it would have been, you know, it would have gotten the, the big troop bonus for, for me. Now look at that. It plummeted because of whatever happened there. Oh, you know what probably just fucking happened? It, I, I bet that happened when I told that guy to distribute my, my holdings because it... It, it, it saw that as not being the right holdings because I already had a top holding. I bet that's what happened. God damn it. We're gonna take care of this. I don't care. I'm getting old. I don't care if people don't like me at this point. Vanish. Okay. Now... I should have that one back, and that one back, there we go, now I don't want these ones down here, so let's give away those, let's see, I want to, people in my court that don't already have titles would be nice. Has unearthed authentic love letter proving that the Count of Luxembourg is, is actually a bastard. His mother was a torrid had a torrid love affair with the Count. Shocking information. Stay out of factions. All right. So, who is this to me? My nephew. Let's give my nephew something. I think that, that's got to be what happened, is it gave away those holdings when he, I told that guy to redistribute my land like that. Which, I, yeah, look at that. I got most of the troops I had back. But, oh, and we're still working on that. Court. Let's give it to this kid. I'm gonna, apparently, I'm just going to start giving them out to kids in my dynasty. I'll have to give away Alexandria, too. I'll probably give away the duchy to maybe my grandson. That's what I was thinking. Oh, my wife's finally got her old lady portrait. 
50, and I'm 55. Penalty of... No, I'll have you. And... I'm gonna go back here and go back to... Port. This guy's been cool. Can I give this guy land? Can't, can I? That one. Let's give him that one. Over my vast a little bit. We'll fix that in just a second. And he's gonna actually go back straight into that position. Why did he not like me? Oh, probably because of the tyrant thing. Yeah, now that I have, now he's my vassal, he's gonna have that. Uh, train troops, there. I don't have him doing anything too much at the moment. Actually, you know what I should have him doing? I'm getting a little distracted, but again, we're not really doing too much other than trying to, you know, maintain the status quo and make sure that Benjamin here, <laughs> Prince Benjamin the Rash, interesting. Uh, go stays into power. That's what I was talking about. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Court. You know what I, sh what I should do? I could just. I know I wanted to give something to this kid. I think this is the last one. Oh, there. Barony, barony, barony. Oh, I'll just give him that. That's fine. I forgot about that one. Alrighty, now I shouldn't have anything over here anymore. Alexandria to this kid, I guess. Grant land a title. Let's see if Alexandria. Oh, God, again. Okay. There's that. Whoa! Byzantine Emperor... Byzantine Revolt. Looks like is an interesting thing. I might have to do something about this. I've trumped everyone, and I am the best, um, Basilius ever. Did I lose it? I lost Ambitious. Okay, now, what is this revolt? I have a peasant revolt. Uh, it looks like, the, is, is this guy trying to push someone for Coquitterian? That's said interesting. Oh, okay, this is probably the biggest the one I'm, I'm more interested in, and that is the they want a they want elective monarchy. I can't let that fly. I can't let them have that. All right, and I'm a little bummed that I'm over my limit here, and I'm over my limit here. Uh, there was a barony somewhere that I didn't want. Is this one? There's a second barony there. I don't think that. I think. That one I never really held too much, so let's give away that barony as well. Just want to make sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Someone. Wow, everyone's in prison. I'm just gonna give it to someone. It's a barony. It doesn't really matter. Can I give it to my? Can a daughter be a baron? Going like all the way down the list just to find people to give stuff to. Not Tusculum. I gotta check. Not Toronto. It's. What was it? Oh, I lost it. Oh well. Alright, so I should probably do something, because this revolt... If, if this revolt goes, I'm out of power. So... We're, we are going to do something about this. We're going to raise up our, our, our army. We're going to do something about this. And actually, what we need to do is crush these guys first, and then I'll go over and help out with the other one. Now, let's find this again. That's, that's the one I was looking at, but I kind of like that one. Tusculum... That one. That one down there. That's the one I don't want. Okay. We'll give away this one. We'll just give it to this kid. That one. Alright, there we go. Still above our 
our vassal limit by a little tiny bit, which is a shame. Don't like that. I don't know what the penalty is for being over your vassal limit, but I'm sure it's something. I would have to, to get that up higher, I'd have to change my laws. I'm not going to convert to Iconoclast. Got to try to keep it Catholic. Catholic. You risk losing vassals if your character dies. Okay, that's what happens. I guess they could... They could try to, like, uh, revolt against you, rebel, as it were. I mean, they managed to put together... I see 11,000, 11 and a half there, 14 and a half over there. It's... There are some numbers. Aquitaine, revolt again. Bohemia looks pretty, uh, pretty decent. It's, um, pretty historical. I'm pretty sure that's where Bohemia normally is. And I was talking at the beginning of this episode about forgetting to do a December channel update, and tomorrow, Sunday, is one of my days off of work. But my wife works, so I'm going to be home alone, which means I'll have plenty of time to record, and hopefully I'll be able to record a post-December channel update. Uh, maybe the first episode of a, a new up-and-coming maybe mini-series I'm doing for someone someone else's channel, which is going to be called Cardigans and Scotch, and it's going to be just a kind of a discussion format kind of thing, because that's what he does on his channel. And maybe I'll be able to do that tomorrow. And I would love to actually be able to maybe start streaming I, I'm, I'm toying with the idea. I've been asked a lot of times if I'm going to be doing streaming, and the short answer is yes, and the long answer is yes. I am going to do, be doing streaming. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. I'm thinking Sundays are going to be the only time I'm ever going to be able to stream. All right, we're losing this war. I might have to... All right, I'm going to have to knock out, knock these guys around, you know, clunk some heads together and then bug her off straight over there because she's getting her butt kicked. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna send these guys right over here. I just gotta take these guys out as quick as I can. Hopefully I'll be able to catch them in the mountains here. It's not a big deal. That seems to be popping up a lot recently. The uncovering vassals, you know, What's it called? Uh, like sexual predis predispositions. All right, caught those guys, which makes me happy. Very good. Wipe them out. Don't stick around. Chase them down. I mean, I can't engage. I can't afford to engage the the, the bulk of their army with just half of mine. But I can do. I, I can do some distractions and whatnot. All right, we caught them actually send you right over here to this this area and then you're gonna follow along it's actually probably best that I don't have them marching through the mountains together like that Byzantine if I if I didn't start fighting this war for them they lose they don't have they don't have it in them to fight off this war I can't remember the last time a, um, uh, my, there was a rebellion while I was a vassal, and I was actually like, yeah, I'm gonna fight this. Is this 200 men? Yeah. I'll go over there. You know what, I might as well, do I, I should probably get my, these guys together. Let's actually just put that down a little bit. While everyone's moving around, I can, I easily have time to do this. I don't need that many that many ships, but as long as I got them. And of course, we're auto saving as soon as I try to do this. I have high hopes for this this month and next month for the for, for the channel because I plan on doing a lot of cool stuff. Because the channel's it it honestly feels like it's starting to to really pick up these days. I mean, when I, you know, not not two months ago, 
just a few views would have would have made me happy and now they're just really flooding in as soon as these episodes go up you guys want to watch them and it really really kind of warms my heart i never really expected anybody to actually enjoy watching this content i was just something i was gonna i, I know i've said this a lot before but it was just something i was going to do as a hobby nothing nothing serious but it's things are starting to to you know look in a very positive direction for this channel here now that I have decent recording equipment, I've got great followers. You guys are amazing, by the way. Fucking love you guys. I was warned when I started doing this. People told me, they're like, okay, people are going to be dicks. People are going to, you know, tell you how what, what a terrible person you are and how much you suck and... They're just going to try to bring you down, and they're going to troll your channel, and you're going to have people that show up and dislike every single one of your videos just for the sake of doing it. And I've never experienced any of that. Never. I don't think I've had a single disparaging comment, comment on my channel. And the only dislikes I've had are legit people who are like, this episode just wasn't for me. Alrighty, now we got some people here, so let's disembark them with the main bulk of the army. How we do? Ooh, I gotta, I gotta get my butt moving. I've gotta get my ass moving because she got her butt handed to her. She's trying. I mean, stranger, he looks like he might faint. Let's try to get him gregarious. All right, let's slow this down a little bit. Grab this. I'm calling this the main bulk of my army. And let's send them straight over. I actually kind of want to leave that guy there because he's actually sieging down some land. Uh, I, I mean, it looks like they got pretty handily mauled, but they still came out in the in the lead with a couple thousand troops left. Hopefully, I mean, it's... It's gonna be winter by the time I actually I'm crossing the mountains here. It's gonna be rough, but I did get that increase in global supply limit. That'll help. That will definitely help. Okay. I was actually talking to one of my my YouTube uh, uh, friends, someone who has a channel that I'll probably give a little. A little like Benjamin Magnus shout out kind of thing to him. He's much bigger than me, but but still, I'd like to give him a little a little credit for having a great channel one of these days. And uh, we were talking the other day, and both of us were like, you know what? If things keep trending upwards, we might be able to, you know, at least you know do this part time as a job, like as as an entertainment channel as a job, because we're actually you know growing in such an you know, a, a, you know, a positive, upward, steady manner. That would be absolutely amazing. I think my my wife would shit herself if if I actually managed to you know do something productive with this. She thinks she she thinks it's uh, I'm being silly. She's supportive, but she still think I, I can tell. I can tell she still thinks it's silly. And I've got to think of something to do for, like, uh, a 500 subscriber special kind of thing, because it's creeping up a lot, a lot sooner than I ever expected it would. And after that 500 subscriber mark, I know that 1,000 subscriber mark, if things keep going well, is just going to be right around the corner for 500. Come on, get over there. There you go. All right, straight to Constantinople. Save the queen! I'm, oh, this is actually kind of cool. I'm marching. I'm personally leading an army to relieve my be, uh, my beleaguered wife here. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Although, you know, in the past, I did declare war on her, so I don't have too much clout. You know, as long as there's nobody over here, you know what I should just do? Let's merge these guys together, and then we're going to split them in half, and then I'm going to send half right over here, because there's nobody, nothing's happening over here. She's got a little. She got a couple troops back together. Let's try to catch this army in Nicomedia. It's happened before. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Awesome. 
And then what we'd have to do is basically find the leaders of this revolt and try to wipe them out. Now, what are they getting war score for? Is it mostly just battles? It's all just battles. Excellent. All right. I don't know. I might as well do this. Am I running out of Catholics? I knew there was a heresy somewhere. I gotta get rid of that. I want it, just being a uh, Catholic in my my you know the top the, the Empire level title is iconoclast is just really throwing off the religious thing. Right, so the leader of this revolt, where is he? He's in. He's incapable. He's over here. Okay, there it is. All right, well, once these guys are done sieging down these lands over here, I'll send them over there to siege down these lands. And in the meantime, uh, it doesn't look like there's any major... No, maybe we'll send this army over. There doesn't look like there's anything major over here to to siege down. So let's just send these guys back over here. And we'll continue this war. Excellent. I got a little bit of war score out of that. Nice. Didn't plan on having to do this, but I don't I don't have a problem with it. I planned on, you know, spending this time to try to take as much land on the coast over there in the Levant as I possibly could. But we'll do this instead. I gotta I gotta keep those lines of succession pure. I mean these guys don't look like they're putting themselves together in any meaningful way. Oh and we fixed that up there, I forgot about that. Alright, sieging, sieging. Did we get one here? No, not yet. Not yet, but we're getting it. They have a lot of troops there, so I'm not going to assault it in any way. But I am going to send these guys right over here. Maybe assault down this one, depending how many troops they have. 1,000? I have 15,000. That's not that bad. Okay. Converted the Catholic faith. Excellent. Oh, I can't force him to... Convert. Oh, there's no way he's gonna do that. He does. There's no way that's gonna happen. The longer that this iconoclast thing goes, the 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 worse it's gonna get because you know they're gonna start. People are gonna start converting on their own accord. <laughs> uh, as soon as we get over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode and we'll pick this up tomorrow. I believe as soon as we're here. 1,300 men. Eh, I don't really feel like assaulting that. I feel like it would go poorly. Let's see, what is this going to tick up to? That's 5.2%. That's not too slow. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here, and we'll pick this up tomorrow. We'll finish up this revolt, maybe take a bit, a little bit more land over here, try to continue our reforming the Roman Empire. So, everyone, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below here, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Crusader Kings 2, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.